This is Jane and her husband Bob. Jane and Bob got married a little later in life. They've been having a lot of fun learning how to make a baby. But now Jane is 40 and they have encountered a few bumps in the road on the way to baby making. Let's find out just what it takes to have a baby at 40. Let's take a journey to the center of the uterus. This is Uda, Jane's uterus. <laughs> I mean, Uda the uterus. Hello, Uda. Hello. Say, you're Jane's uterus. I sure am. You're an expert. Tell us just what it takes to make a baby. Sure. After a girl has her first menstrual period, she's ready to have a baby. The sperm from a boy is magically inserted into the vagina and swims up the cervix to the uterus where it meets the egg. You see, in the middle of the month, an egg from the ovaries is deposited into the fallopian tube and travels into the uterus where it meets the fastest and strongest swimming sperm. The first sperm to reach the egg asks if he can inseminate her. The egg says, sure, but don't tell my other boyfriends. Then the sperm burrows into the egg and the baby starts to grow. The uterus grows a nice, plush growing place for the baby, kind of like a blood blanket. And then, nine months later, a baby is born. Sounds easy. Not so fast. Not everyone can have a baby so easily. That's where the special doctors and nurses come in. What do they do? They offer alternatives to the usual way of making a baby. For instance, intrauterine insemination. An intrauterine insemination, or IUI, is one way to make a baby when those bumps in the road become too big. Some people call it the turkey baster method. A man will donate his sperm to a woman. They wash the sperm and then inject it right into the uterus, right when the egg drops in. What if it doesn't work? Well, then it's on to in vitro fertilization, or IVF. What's that? That's when a woman's eggs are stimulated using powerful hormones. The doctor harvests the eggs and then places them into a petri dish with the man's sperm. Then they are fertilized to make embryos or the beginnings of a baby. Some embryos don't make it though. But if the embryos are good, one or two will be implanted back into me, Jane's uterus. And then, hopefully, she'll be expecting, in the family way, a bun in the oven. Well, that's just swell. Swollen, knocked up, eating for two, with child. <laughs> Thanks, Uda. You know, folks, Jane isn't the only one who has problems. There are so many who struggle with infertility. Let's take a look at another couple, Kathleen and Pep. Kathleen and Pep also got married a little later in life. After a few bumps in the road, they finally went to see a doctor.